I did get married at an early age and we had a child at a, at a young age, earlier than most people. So being able to come here was a better option for us. The important thing about this organization is we're not giving your garage sale stuff to these patients. This is not a thrift store. This is a beautiful nursery type boutique where people can go in and shop just as you or I would go in and buy things there. They're just using points that they've earned, their incentives, uh, as compared to dollars. And so they get points for all sorts of things. A big part of the Teddy Bear Down is the fact that we are on a fixed income, so being able to get the things that we normally wouldn't have access to has been great because I can come here and spend my points and get the things that I normally wouldn't be able to afford. So one of my favorite things is they get points for being drug free and alcohol free and um, tobacco free. And that doesn't sound like a big deal to probably you or I, but that's a huge deal for somebody that they could earn money for staying away from cigarettes. That's very hard for some patients. They get points for taking prenatal classes, which is amazing because that is, I think, such a huge way for these patients to turn into good parents. They get points for taking breastfeeding class, breastfeeding a baby, um, using their prenatal vitamin, and then each subsequent month after the baby's delivered, if they get a postpartum visit, they get points. If they get appropriate birth control following the pregnancy, they get points. And so um, as a physician, it's just so amazing that all these things I want people to do that they don't necessarily want to do because I tell them, now I have a way of saying, see, if you do this, here's the reward. It's made a huge difference with the diapers and the clothes because clothes are not cheap especially if you want them to last. And with babies, they need to last because they're hard. They're very hard on their clothes and they go through a lot of diapers. And being able to come here, we've been able to have um, additional food in the house. So, you know, the kids can have several snacks a day and they can eat a full three meals every day, not just a sandwich or not just mac and cheese. Now that I have the extra money, I can get the vegetables and the other stuff that they would want with their food and they get special treats and you know every once in a while but being able to come here I can have the the clothes and the diapers and be able to afford the extra things that that they would want. Well I know when I was young and expecting that was so important to me that I go in and have those doctor visits and all the things that are so important to having that healthy pregnancy. And I had people around me. I had family and friends who were encouraging me to do that. But some of these young women don't. They don't have the family, they don't have some of the friends or the environment around them to encourage them that this is so important, especially for those nine months. And so that's where the DEN comes in. We provide that opportunity and encourage them to do those things, that they have that healthy pregnancy and then for those first 15 months that that baby goes in for those well baby checkups and those shots that are important and so I really do believe that we are providing that. I say thank you. I mean they're providing things for families that otherwise wouldn't be able to. The staff here is great. I mean these people they're the nicest people in the world. You know, what they do here is amazing because it helps families that, that really need it.